2017th? 2017th. Yep, okay. Can you see it? Can you see it? I don't know, maybe. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a review for The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This book is coming out February 28th, 2017. So by the time you see this video, it will be out, I'm pretty sure, this day. So you guys should all run out and get this book because it is absolutely incredible. All the hype that you've probably heard about it is definitely well deserved. It's one of those books that is going to go down in history. So if you haven't already gotten your copy, run out and get it like right this second. So I'm going to give a synopsis of the book and then I'm going to talk about my overall thoughts of the book and like the characters and what else I thought you know your typical review video so without further ado let us get started I gave this book a four out of five stars on Goodreads I think it is going to be one of those books that everybody needs to read this book follows Star Carter who is 16 years old and she goes to a party one night with her cousin and she leaves with her best friend Khalil they get pulled over by a cop and Khalil ends up getting shot. When the news about Khalil being unarmed reaches the media, it causes an uproar and protests begin. Now Star needs to decide whether or not to speak up and seek justice for her friend or to stay quiet in order to protect herself. This book was inspired by Black Lives Matter and I think that it was done in such an amazing way. The book definitely covers very important topics such as racism, police brutality, murder, and it's done in such a way that it's not in your face. I do have to say that there is a lot of racism not only towards African Americans but also like Asians and other ethnic groups so if that's something you don't really want to read about then go into the book with caution because one of the characters, Haley, is extremely racist and it kind of makes you uncomfortable at times so just make sure you know that going in. Not only does it cover those important topics, it also covers family, friends, community, other very important topics as well. I think that this is a book that everybody needs to read. I'm probably gonna say that a million times in this review. I just think that it's done in such a way that it's not going to offend anybody. Which is such a huge deal these days and I just think that it's done in such a good way. I'm also gonna say that a million times in this review. It's such a good book. The book is a huge roller coaster of emotions. You feel so sad for Star and everything that her family is going through and you feel for Khalil and everybody in that community. It's definitely worthy of all the hype that it's getting and I can't believe that this is Angie's debut novel. It doesn't feel like a debut novel at all. I think that Star is such an amazing character and she has no idea how strong and brave she actually is. She stands up for what she believes in and she's not going to stay quiet for long. I loved watching her grow from being afraid about what her friends at Williamson were going to think of her and realizing that she just needs to be herself and if they're really her friends then they wouldn't be judgmental. I also thought that she was hilarious, <laughs> like everything she said. I was like cracking up laughing. It was really like a good comedic relief to the serious issues that Angie talks about in the book. I loved the entire cast of the book. I think that Star's mom and dad are like relationship goals. Like they were so cute and I just could not get enough of them. They were so supportive of Star. Everything was her decision. They weren't going to push her to do anything she didn't want to do. Which I think is a very good quality in a parent because you need to teach your children to make their own decisions or else they're never going to be able to do it themselves. I also really like Seven and Sakani who are Star's older brother and younger brother. I thought they were so supportive of her and just the whole family dynamic in the book is so amazing and everybody was just so supportive of each other and it was just really nice to read about. I think that the diversity in this book was also very well done. There were African Americans, white characters, uh, Asian characters, like people of every ethnicity was in this book which I thought was an awesome addition. And I found it a little bit hard to relate to what Star was going through because like as you can see I am very Caucasian and that's all I've ever known so I don't have the issues that Star and her community were facing because I am very privileged. I've grown up in a very white neighborhood for my entire life so it was kind of hard to relate to but I really liked being able to see 
from somebody else's perspective. It was really interesting to see the interactions between people and their views on Khalil's death. I think that Angie did a very very good job of getting out what she wanted to say, her message, without it being thrown in your face like some authors try to do. I really loved how at the end of the day it wasn't about the character's skin color, it was about their personality and Star realized that it shouldn't matter what someone looks like and how they appear to other people, it's about what's inside that counts and I like that message and I think that it was really well done. Overall, I think that this book is amazing. I think everybody should go out and pick it up. It's such an incredible story. I give it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads and it's going to be one of those books that goes down in history. So definitely read it if you get the chance. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!